Select the stage. All right, adventurers. Welcome to All Play. Uh, today we're going to do a series that I thought up so long ago. Like, I can't even imagine. I can't even try and figure out when it was. Okay. So one of my favorite parts of the Sonic universe is the fact that they have a child garden in a lot of the games. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 is my favorite child garden altogether. I once raised a legendary child. It was amazing. It took on any race and won all of them. And uh, that's what we're going to do for a little bit, okay? We're going to have a few episodes where we're trying to build or, or, or take care of, I should say, take care of a child. It, I, can show you, I can show you what it is. For those of you not familiar with uh, Sonic, the Sonic universe, the, the idea of chow. Uh, they were in the last playthrough that I just did, the Sonic Adventure DX playthrough. Uh, Chaos, the main enemy, is actually a mutated Chow. Uh, and Chow are like these artificial life forms that you kind of got to take care of yourself. So this is the Chow Garden. This is one of my favorite things in all of this game. Why is this camera so low? I don't remember it being like this. Did I break the game? Uh-oh. This is weird. It, okay, it's fine. It'll be all right. And this is a Chow egg. Chow living eggs. We can pick it up. And we can take care of it for a little bit. We can shake it, you know, shake it, shake it. Just don't break it. And we can put it back down. And then we can pick it back up. And we can shake it some more. <laughs> That's not all you do with the eggs. Uh, we just take care of it, basically, until it hatches. Is it going to hatch? There we go. It's getting ready to hatch. And this is a chow. This is actually a cool chow. It's got the cool teeth. I like those teeth. Where you, where's your face, little buddy? Hey. Hey, little man. Come here. Little man. How, how do I change that so it doesn't say pick? Okay, so I picked it up. Chow have five stats. There's swim, fly, run, power, and stamina. There's different things you can feed to Chow in order to raise those stats. They'll raise. Sometimes they'll lower, but they won't ever drop in level. Once that bar fills up, uh, it'll raise in level. Basically, that level tells you how good they are at the stats. So, for example, this is our Chow right here. He's not good at running, so when he tries to take off, if he tries to take off, how do I change that? There we go. It's the triangle that I need. Okay. So when he tries to take off, instead of running, he'll crawl until he learns how to run. I believe it's at level five. Also, he can't swim. So he's going to just struggle like that. It doesn't hurt them. All right. It's okay. It doesn't hurt him. Let's go get him some. Uh, actually, we need a name for him. I'll name him in a little bit. We're not getting him right now. What we're going to do first is we're going to go get. I know that's kind of cruel. We're going to go get some. Uh, we're going to go get some, some feed for, for our child. And then we can come up with a name for him. All right, so how do you feed Chow? Well, if you remember when I played Sonic Adventure a long time ago, Sonic Adventure 2 a long time ago, or if you saw the Sonic Adventure DX playthrough, uh, you know that when you defeat enemies, you can get one of two things. You can get animals or you can get chaos drives. They're basically these colored things, these colored bars. I'll show you in the very first level. I'll show you in the very first level of this game. Uh, you get either those animals or drives. You can give those to the chow, and they'll take attributes from the animals or for the drives. All right, so I'm going to play through this level for just a little bit, just long enough. I'm going to play through the whole level, but I'm going to play through long enough for you to see me picking up animals and getting uh, getting the chaos drives. Oh, Lord. I don't know if you know this, but this is my favorite level in any video game. All together, like in the history of level in video games, this is my favorite level. All together, I used to know this level to the point where I could play it without looking at the screen. And when I say it's my favorite, I mean it. Let's see, are there animals here? Yes. Okay, so in this pipe, there's hit. There's one hidden animal. It's a. I think that's a raccoon. I'm not entirely sure. The animals look so weird on here. To be honest, they 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 don't look like all the animals they're trying to be. And then in that robot that I just took out was a chaos drive. Is that little purple thing? I'll give you a I'll give you a shot to see a better, get a better look at it. If you don't use your abilities, okay. So he shot me. All right, dang it! I, I grabbed it too quickly. All right, there's there's many more opportunities for me to get more chaos drives or more animals. Just give me a second. Give me a oops, oops. Here we go up here. Thank you. And now. We can do that in there. I think there's an animal here. No? No animal? It'll be all right. It'll be okay. Keep it moving, Shouty. Keep it moving. All right. Come on. All right. So in this enemy here, there's a chaos drive. When you attack him and destroy him, 
They dropped these little these little bars, these colored bars. This one's a green one, I believe. That should be run. Not sure. I'm not. I'm not familiar with the the, the colors of them. We get. We'll find those out when we go back. Also, in this box is a key to take us to the Chaos World. So once I finish this level, we'll go right to the Chaos World. I don't have to go back to any funky menus or anything. Anything up here? Yeah, there's a skunk up here. So there's that skunk. Let's see. And there's a drive there. I just didn't get it. It'd be all right. It'd be all right, fam. Let's see. Let's find a few more, few more things in this first episode so I can have everything explained. I'll have to explain stuff later on. We just go and do stuff. Uh, in that first box, there was a K. I'm sorry. There was a, uh, what's it called? There was a key to the child world. In the second box, there won't be another key. Instead, there'll be more animals. And then the third box, there's a rare animal. I believe there's two. I want to say one is a phoenix, and the other one I don't remember. I know it's. I think it's golden. It's gold. Something gold. It's a. It's a rare. The only way you can get the rare ones is by finding all three. Chow boxes within any one level. Alright, so we need to find that third box. If I'm not mistaken, the third box is up here. Yeah. Alright, so here's the third box. And then this one. Oh, it's a unicorn. Okay, so one of us is a phoenix and the other is a unicorn. Alright, with that, all of the. All this stuff, the introductory level stuff that I needed to teach you is done already. So let's go ahead and skip to the end. Let's go ahead and skip to where we finish this level and then we'll go right into the chaos of the child world. Actually, there's one thing that I want to show. There's one thing I want to find in these episodes when I play through some of the levels. Big is here somewhere. Big the cat is hidden in every level in Sonic Adventure 2. There he is. He's hidden somewhere in every single level. You just have to find him. I actually, at one point, I wanted to do a series where I find all of Big's locations. That didn't go so hot, just so you know. Oh, there's an animal here somewhere. There's, there's one animal hidden here. Let's see. Where is it? I guess not. Be all right. Moving on. Piece of cake. All right, so because we got the chaos, why well, I keep doing that? Because we got the Chow Key, it's gonna take us directly to the Chow World. Come on, come on, you can do it. You got it. Come on, there you go. All right, so let's head back into the this Chow Garden. This is the basic Chow Garden. All the, I'm sorry, not all the animals. You can only take up to ten animals in Chow Drives that you find in the level so once you find the 11th one the very first one that you found is instead discarded and replaced by the 11th one all right so let's get our chow let's get our chow out the wall someone else is in the water who else is swimming someone else is swimming no okay good keep it that way all right so we can feed these animals yes we're gonna feed the animals to our chow and when you do that They'll, their physical characteristics as well as their stats will change slightly. So, for example, we fed him the blue raccoon, and he gained the ears of the raccoon, and I believe that's it. Yeah, he gained the ears of the raccoon. He also, for stats, he got two points in swim, two in fly, and two in power. I'm sorry, one in power. Now, those stats don't really come into effect until the bar fills up all the way, and then he'll level up. Until then, you just sit tight, little buddy. Let's see. Let's give him this one. So green is run. I thought so. I remember that because Sonic has green eyes in this game. Green is run. Uh, so his run went up. We can also pet him. Uh, what happens is in the Sonic Adventure 2 game, in the story, there's two sides. There's the hero side and the dark side. They, those can also affect the child. Eventually, they'll mature and evolve. When they do... They'll evolve based on which side treated them better. Uh, if the hero side, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles treat them great, then they'll become Hero Chow. If the dark side, Shadow, uh, Robotnik, and Rouge treat them better, then they'll become Dark Chow. 
It just gives you different different uh, alignments. It doesn't truly affect them, but it does open up some other things that you can't get otherwise. You can see that the the ball above its head is changing colors, slowly becoming more blue. That means it's going towards hero. Uh, it'll become more red when it's going towards dark. Just see, we'll grab it a uh, purple purple drive and feed it that. So fly increases. Eventually, they'll be able to fly. When they jump off of high platforms, right now at level zero, they just fall. But when it comes to f when they have a certain level of fly, I believe it's five, uh, then they will instead hover. They'll hover and then glide down. So you give it the skunk. Now it got the tails. The I'm sorry, the tail, the feet, and the arms of the skunk. It's also got the the curly little curly bit on the hair. I believe that's the skunk. Yeah, I believe that's skunk. All right, I don't want to get too skunk like. The skunk looks cool, but I won't give it too much to look like the skunk. After a certain point, it gets stuck with its physical characteristics. Okay, so it lost the skunk arms, but kept the feet, and instead it has. Oh, wool-covered arms. Let's give it the rabbit. The rabbit's pretty dope. The rabbit's pretty dope. All right, so run should be, yeah, run levels up, fly levels up. So now those are level one. Let's give it the unicorn, too. The unicorn should be really good. Yeah, because it's a rare. Unicorn is a rare one. It's actually dope looking, not going to lie. I like some weird stuff, and that looks dope. We could also feed it regular food. That will increase its stamina. That will help increase its stamina. You need stamina for things like races and karate. Those are things that the child can be used to compete in. They can compete against each other. Or if your friend has a child, they can uh, raise it up and it will be able to compete with your child. At one point in time, I had Sonic Advance on the Game Boy. And because that child doesn't age exactly, I had childs that were up to like level 30 and everything. And then I brought it over and it dominated every single race. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was the greatest thing ever. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, oh, before I forget, let's go name this child. Let's go name this child. Look at them. Look at that face. Look at that face. We're going to go name it. We're going to take it back to the lobby, and then we're going to go on this side, which is the child kindergarten. You can take it to school, get a, get it a health checkup, all of that jazz. Let's see. Uh, let's do a health center checkup before we name it. This is the health center. The doctor will examine your child. See the doctor. Hey, hey, this is not good. Your child is very healthy. Please take good care of your child. I never thought, I never, I never knew what that was. You know, why does he always say stuff like this is not good and then say healthy? He like he's never said anything else for me. Here's the health results. Okay, so it's not the best in swimming or flying. Oops, sorry. Uh, it's it's gonna be okay in running eventually. It's gonna be a runner. Uh, it's powerful and it's got it's it's, it's stamina. There we go. It's a neutral and it's a child. It hasn't matured yet, so it's just a child. It likes round fruit. All right, so it likes round fruit and it's going to be a runner. I kind of know what I'm going to name this child. I kind of know, I say. Let's see. Fortune teller. To name the child, you bring it to the fortune teller house. Ooh, excuse me. Welcome to the fortune telling house. You won't get your fortune told here, but it's fun to get a nice name for your child. I'll give your child a lucky name. Oh, your child is a newborn. I will give your child a good name. This child's lucky name is Summoning the Powers to Be Presto. How about the name Emmy? No, we're not naming it Emmy. The one different name. No. How about naming it yourself? Yes. Okay. Let's name this child. This child will be named. Okay. I know what this child is going to be named. This child will be named Freeze. Like how Cream, the rabbit, has her own child named Cheese. I'm chill. And this, you know, I got to go all the way. Let's go all the way. This child's name. Where is it? This child's name is Freeze. And I don't want to hear no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's a good name. I hope Freeze will be very healthy. See you again. All right. Freeze the child. Let's see. And then over here, we also have the black market. You can buy items uh, that will help your child with things and stuff. Uh, you can also buy different child eggs. So if we want to start with a blue child, we can get a blue egg. All of that jazz. There's a shiny white egg. There's hero fruit, dark fruit. We got buckets and stumps and watermelons. <laughs> okay, we're not going to buy anything just yet. Oh, I said we're not going to buy anything just yet. 
All right, let's be out. We can head back to the uh, head back to the the house. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna call it the Chow Guard every time. Let's head back to the house. <laughs> okay. Oh, another Chow hash all the way up there, all the way up there. Also, why is this Chow turned white a little bit? Why is this one turned white a little bit? All right, so that's the Chow Garden. That's the basics of the Chow Garden in a nutshell. I'm not going to go save him. He shouldn't have jumped in. He shouldn't have jumped in. That's the basics of the Chow Garden in a nutshell. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be doing, we'll be looking at things and stuff. It's going to take a while. It's not as simple as, okay, pick this up and play. No, it takes a lot to actually get the Chow to grow. So there's going to be segments where I actually do uh, come in here and play, but it's not going to be back to back. Like, for example, don't expect me wearing this the same uh, next time I come in do this all right so with that said if you guys enjoyed this video and are excited for this very short series that we're going to do uh, make sure you subscribe hit that red button below this video that's a subscribe button and i'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like sonic adventure 2 battle more stuff like the chow garden as well as everything else that all play has to offer thank you for checking this out and i'll catch you later with more here on all play You got somewhere to go, Sonic? You waiting on me, big dog? You waiting on me?